If you've ever lost your sense of smell and it was legitimately terrifying, feel free to hit that subscribe button. All right, here on the Soap Thing Project, we're gonna have to get a little creative. A couple days ago, I had some sinus surgery done, so it's gonna take a few weeks for my sense of smell to come back. But in the meantime, I did manage to put together a shave where scent is really not that big of a deal. So let's take a look at what we got here today. We got this tube of Gillette shaving cream. And I'm not sure what market this is intended for, but I got it from Maggard for about $5 for 3.2 ounces. So at 3.2 ounces, this is actually TSA friendly. So, And this uh, doesn't smell like hardly anything, even when things are going well. So it's a perfect candidate for not being able to smell. Then for the aftershave, we got fine snake bite. I won't be able to smell it, but I'll feel it by God. This is a death by menthol uh, aftershave for those who are not familiar. So it goes heavy, heavy on the menthol for that uh, cooling effect. We're going to use this 1966 Gillette Super Speed. And this is, what's the date code on this? L1, Lima 1. So that is first quarter 1966. We're going to use a Gillette silver blue inside of it and in fact I have a blade right here Gillette silver blue so let's open it up and put it inside the razor this is a twist to open razor for those who are not familiar so open twist it open like this and these flaps come open you just stick it right there in the razor and twist it closed so Gillette super speed and then finally for the brush we had just have this 26 millimeter silver tip badger and this is from west coast shaving so let's get all this together and let's have a shave all right got two days of growth on the face today let's put some gillette shaving cream into the prayer shavery unbreakable shaving bowl come on Come on, that much ought to do it. And tube cream will tend to uh, lather up pretty quickly and pretty easily. So let's get the brush. It's been soaking for a minute. Let's do a couple sprays out of the spray bottle like we always do. And let's see what we get out of it. Here's the little bit of soap right there. So we're gonna make a lather out of that. Let's give it a try. Now, uh, when I had my nasal surgery done, they didn't put me under general anesthesia. They just loaded me up with hydrocodone and diazepam. So I was totally alert and conscious while the procedure was going on. And at the time, I didn't care about anything. But afterwards, I started looking back on, like, um... <clears throat> The stuff I remember happening and I remember at one point they were working on the right side of my nose and they were just crunching and scraping and cracking in there to the point where I, I seriously thought that they were trying to split my face in half and I did at the time I didn't care but it was kind of kind of worried me a little bit after I kind of came out of that uh, narcotic delirium that they put me under so but I'm glad it's over, so I, will, I won't get uh, sinus infections nearly as often, and uh, that's good. Because most of my life I've had issues where I get sinus infections quite frequently, so it's good that I can finally get out from under, out from under that. So far this lather is looking good. I think I can put just a little more water in here. And let's see what I can whip this up into. Gillette tube cream. I've never seen that off the shelf uh, anywhere locally here in the United States. So I'm guessing it is for um, the European market or the maybe the Indian market. So... If you are somebody who is in the know, then feel free to put it in the comment section. Okay, 
what do we have going here? Oh yeah, that is plenty of lather, and that uh, brush retains a lot of lather anyway. Okay. And I need a towel. Let me see here, we'll just use this one. This red one here. Okay, I got the uh, Phoenix shaving cube here, so I'm gonna Apply just a little bit of water to the face and apply the Phoenix Shaving Pre-Shave Cube. All right, we're looking good. Let's apply this lather. stuff goes on fairly thick. It might be cheap and non-scented, but it is no no slouch at all. This stuff is A-OK. -okay. Okay, so we have the 1966 Super Speed right here from Gillette. And let's see if we can have a good shave today. Now right about here, there's a pretty bad nick from a couple days ago when I was shaving off camera. So if I get a, a weeper, really bad one kind of in this area, we're not gonna worry about it too much. All right, let's see how we do. Gillette Silver Blue Blade in here. Two days growth. The super speed, as far as vintage Gillette's go, is supposed to be a fairly mild one. If you're not familiar with vintage Gillette's, it's not as mild as the Tech, but it's still a pretty forgiving shave. At least I think so. Let's tighten down uh, the TTO doors on this one. Like to back out a little bit. So every once in a while, I just gotta check to make sure they're they're shut, locked down tightly. Okay, looks like a little one down there.
when I first realized that uh, I didn't have any sense of smell, <clears throat> it actually did kind of scare me a little bit. I have had uh, sinus issues before where I kind of lost my sense of smell for a little bit. And I have had other nasal surgeries. But this one was the first one where I lost my sense of smell and I was worried about it. But my doctor says everything's going to be fine. Just give it a couple weeks. So that's what we're going to try to do. See if I can last two weeks without going completely insane because I can't smell anything. Hope everybody is doing well. I appreciate everyone's support, questions, and feedback. something out of that one but ironically enough it looks like the super speed might just be happy to glance right over that so that's interesting my countertop for my sink is so small that uh, my camera has to be kind of off to my left. I tried it once doing demos just with it directly centered over top of my sink but then that made rinsing a bit of an issue because I had to maneuver around my tripod. And I don't use my phone, I use a video camera and it is just too heavy to mount it to my mirror. So at the moment, I'm kind of stuck with what I got. Okay, let's have a rinse. Oh, looking pretty good. I saw two nicks here and right over there. Uh, but those might be content to just stop on their own. It looks like they might just do that. <clears throat> so I'd call that a really good shave. So, yeah, that's a good one. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's come back in just a moment for the fine snake bite. All right, let's do some fine snake bite. Snake bite on the face today. Hmm. Lots of menthol in this. Feels great. Tremendous cooling effect going on right now. Ooh. Okay. So that was fine snake bite. And now. My final thoughts for, geez, my eyes are starting to water. Okay, my final question for this tube of Gillette shaving cream. Would I buy this again if I ran out of it? Uh, yes, but with the understanding that I have a very specific purpose for this. I mean, this is $5 for 3.2 ounces, or the grams are on the back, and I just did the math, but, uh, Sorry, my eyes are watering. <laughs> Fine snake bite. But anyway, uh, 
I relegate this to if I have somebody locally, a friend or a family member or a coworker who wants to learn how to do traditional shaving. This is generally what I will lend them or give to them to learn how to make a lather. So I have a couple of these laying around just for that uh, specific purpose. But because it has no scent, it would otherwise be a thumbs down for me. But I have stuff like this laying around for people who are curious. And I can just come into work one day or go over to a friend's house and say, here you go. Give it a try. So, oh, excuse me. So those are my final thoughts on uh, the Gillette regular shaving cream. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing wishing everybody a great shave, a strongly scented shave, and I will see you next time.